Now that we're only a little bit over a week away from Stellar Blade's release and fans are extremely excited for this game to launch, journalists are starting to melt down. And there are articles releasing titled Stellar Blade and the Male Gaze. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Now, I am using an archive because, of course, I do not want to give them my clicks, but this is from Inverse, and it is titled Stellar Blade and the Male Gaze, and right off the bat, they title it The Controversy Unpacked. The only people saying that there's a controversy are the people looking to push their narratives by using this game as an example of a theory as fictional as Eve. It says Stellar Blade, the upcoming sci-fi action RPG from Korean studio Shift Up, has been thrust into the center of video game culture wars that seem as old as gaming itself. Well, maybe if there were not activists running rampant within this industry, ruining uh, existing IPs, creating really poor uh, new content, and overall just being really terrible at their jobs, we wouldn't have to talk about a culture war because there wouldn't be one. People would be happy to support games that look good and happy to not support games that look bad, but it has become the job of gamers to call these people out and to shed light on projects that they're working on and projects that ultimately look like they are going to be very bad and are not, um, you know, quality pieces of content. It is our job because no one else is clearly going to do it otherwise because the people actually running the industry don't see a problem with what is going on. It says the fight can be most clearly seen of late in the vocal pushback against narrative consulting company Sweet Baby Inc. for pushing to have more gasp diverse female characters. The issue is not having things like diverse female characters. I am fine with seeing strong, beautiful female characters who happen to be diverse, who are not just simply white characters. But they say that's the problem when it really isn't. The issue is uglifying characters in order to push a specific agenda and, you know, having a narrative consultation company change content in order to appeal more to, you know, corporate DEI trends. These are issues. It's not just having diverse female characters. But it says developer Shift Up appears to be leaning into the male gaze heavily on its Twitter account and in interviews it has been made sure to draw close attention to the fact Eve's body is taken from scans of the Korean model Shin Jae-yoon. Game director Kim justified the choice of the body model saying we wanted to come up with the most attractive looking body for the user. PlayStation's promotional material has even backed this up with Instagram trailers focusing on the revealing alpha its players can dress Eve up in, Shift Up did not return a request for comment, and they shouldn't have, because this is clearly just a hit piece, and no matter what, you were either going to twist their words or twist their meanings in order to fit your narrative. This is absolutely disgusting, because the male gaze is a feminist concept that should be completely disregarded, and they are trying their very best to attack fans of Stellar Blade, the developers, even PlayStation. Over the years, I've had to highly criticized PlayStation for, you know, censoring games and telling developers your game cannot go on our platform unless you censor it and alter the content. But I have to give them some credit with Shift Up and Stellar Blade. That is not what they have done here. And I am more than happy to support these good products because I want companies like PlayStation to realize really good products deserve our support and that we will show up and we will purchase them. But what they are doing here is blaming it all on the male gaze, not the fact that human beings, men and women, like to look at attractive characters. And we're talking about a fictional character here, but of course, they completely try to you know, disregard the fact that, oh, Eve's body is taken from scans of a Korean model in this whole entire article of them trashing Stellar Blade paragraph after paragraph, they only mention that fact once. Can a fictional character's body really be catered to the 
quote, male gaze when it's modeled directly after a real woman's form? Can it truly be unrealistic? I think most people would agree no, because it's simply how a real woman looks. And in this entire article, again, they only reference this fact once because it doesn't aid the narrative. They're trying to push the model that they chose is an absolute beauty, a goddess, and that should be appreciated. And yes, we do know that Eve's face is not this model's face, but it's okay because they still came up with a beautiful face for the beautiful body, and it all stems from this real woman. So it can't be catered to a male gaze. They say, oh yeah, well, they're highlighting in all of the promotional material, all of the outfits. Oh no, a video game gives players options gives them all sorts of outfits. Even in the demo, you can see Eve has a full body outfit, like a full, you know, black suit where almost head to toe she's covered. But there's also outfits where she's wearing close to nothing. I love that variation. And I think that that variation and the choices that they're giving players should be you praised, but instead of doing that, instead of saying, oh, I'm just not the biggest fan of some of the direction they went in, they decide to completely trash this game. This is why people do not read Inverse, Kotaku, Polygon, The Gamer. It is why people no longer give them the benefit of the doubt or even respect them at all whatsoever, and it is why I cannot wait until all of these organizations go out of business because they have absolutely nothing to add to the conversation conversation, and instead they're touting all of these ridiculous feminist theories as if people are going to defend them and as if people are going to, in some way, respect them more. It's absolutely absurd. But funny enough, the person who wrote this article, Issy Vanderweld, has previously tweeted, if you don't like a certain game, that's cool, go and play a different one. Go make your own games. Wait, no, not like that. There are still so many games that are everything these piss babies claim to want. Of course, classic calling gamers piss babies. That'll work out for you. They're just mad that some games they don't feel catered to by. Imagine how everyone who wasn't a straight white guy I felt for decades. Uh, there are quite literally more games available right now this very second than any of us could ever complete in our lifetimes. If you don't like one, just don't play it. Go play something you do like. It's so easy. Then why are you writing hit pieces about a game that you clearly don't like and that you clearly don't feel comfortable by? If you're not going to respect it and appreciate it, why don't you just leave it alone? I mean, these people are idiots. They are so such hypocrites. They tell people, oh, you're piss babies for whining about a game you don't like, just go play something else. But when they are doing the same exact thing, and of course they say, imagine how everyone who wasn't a straight white guy felt for decades. When it comes to video games and when it comes to content, I'm not trying to connect with the character because they look like me, because they're a woman, because they have breasts, because they might be slightly, you know, taller, because they, they might have longer hair. Like, I'm not sitting here doing that. That's such a narcissistic thing to do. I'm trying to connect with the character because they are courageous, because they are strong, because they are compassionate. These are the things that you should be focused on, and it's perfectly fine if you don't want to play Stellar Blade, but at the same time, most of us are not narcissists, and you're just highlighting how much you are one. As a woman who loves playing Bayonetta, Tomb Raider, Nier Automata, who's going to have a freaking amazing time playing Stellar Blade. I hate seeing articles like this. They say a lot of straight men seem to be assuming themselves as the rightful target of this game. And they constantly go on and on about white men and straight men who have, you know, taken this game and objectified this woman. It is so ridiculous. I'm a woman who plays these types of games. There are tons of women out there who do as well, and instead, because that doesn't fit their narrative, they just did this massive hit piece on not only Stellar Blade and Shift Up, but also male gamers in totality. I'm so disappointed to see another article like this released, because over the past few weeks, we've actually seen a lack of articles from outlets like Polygons, Kotaku's, The Gamers, because 
when it comes to uh, attacking the game, they've actually been praising it because they realize that if they attack Stellar Blade, they are going to get absolutely annihilated. And that is exactly what is happening with this Inverse article. There are some journalists who are trying to defend them, saying this is a fantastic article, but people have been laughing at them. People have been mocking them. And people have been saying these individuals, these activists cannot be out of jobs fast enough. I, of course, will be keeping my eye on the Stellar Blade discussions up until release. I will be streaming it at launch. I'm super excited for it. But it's so disappointing to see more attacks on a game that most people are really excited for by activists who are very self-conscious. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.